Hello my friends, I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to do a full face using some new affordable makeup. I got some stuff in PR. This is the e.l.f. and Jennifer Coolidge Dirty Pillows Lip Kit. And then also I got a bunch of Exhibitionist and Kelsey Ballerini Liquid Glitter Eyeshadows. I really wanted to try both of these out. I'm gonna keep the rest of the look affordable as well. So we're gonna do an all drugstore look using a couple of new things. I'm really excited. Also, I wanted to do a little something for those of you watching today's video. If you saw over on on our bag brand over the weekend, we did a really special deal where you get a free everyday bag with a collection and that sale is over unless you're watching this video. It's all taken off the site, but if you use the code BEST23 at checkout, you can still get the same deal. I wanted to extend it for those of you watching in case you missed it or um, in case you need to do some last minute Christmas shopping or whatever. I'll have the details down below for you guys. But yeah, let's get started. Let's use some of these new things. I'm really excited. Let's prep this skin. I think I'm gonna do skin first. So we're going to go into the Honest Beauty Daily Green Juice Antioxidant Super Serum. I just wanted to use like some sort of a skincare serum -y product to prep underneath the foundation. So I'm just letting that absorb into the skin. This is actually a really beautiful texture and a really nice product. It sinks into the skin really well and leaves a little bit of like a tackiness to it, which I personally love, especially when going into makeup. So that's that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of the Power Grip Primer. This is the one with niacinamide from e.l.f. Just a tiny little bit of this. In the areas that I want a little bit more staying power, which for me is right here on the nose, smile lines, chin, and right here in the center of the face right between my brows. I just kind of like press that in and then I'm gonna let that dry while I prep the foundation. I wanted to use my Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation. This stuff is so good. I, I use this all the time. It used to be my number one drugstore foundation. I feel like the drugstore has since launched really beautiful foundations, um, but I recently repurchased this and absolutely love it. It's so beautiful. I like love it all over again, which is kind of fun. Hate the packaging though, I will say. I wish it didn't have a pump, but. It is what it is. So this is the shade um, 20 Natural Ivory. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that on a brush. Let me make sure this has sunk into the skin. I'm gonna start on the cheeks first while that e.l.f. primer kind of sets a little bit more. And I'm just gonna start buffing this into the cheeks using like a pressing motion and then kind of buffing it with the brush after. Making sure to blend down the neck. This is like one of the lighter shades. I honestly feel like I could go with the lightest shade <laughs> that they make. I used to wear the shade 40, mostly because of the undertone, but that one's like way too deep for me now. And now the shade 20 is looking a little deep for me too. It's also that time of year, you know, where it's just so cold outside. I really don't get any sun. I'm just pressing that into the skin with my sponge. I feel like it is a little deep, but I feel like my concealer is a little bit lighter. I wanted to use this again. This is the True Match Concealer. This is the shade C1 to 2. It's the Eye Cream in a Concealer concealer from L'Oreal. I'm actually gonna pick this up on my sponge and start to work that into the under eye area to brighten. Okay, I'm gonna set the face with my Haley's Beauty Retouch Setting Powder. I'm gonna start by pressing a bit of that underneath the eyes to set the concealer, and then I'm taking some through the T-zone. I'm also gonna set the eyelids a little bit, and then I'm taking a bit of a larger brush just to kind of stamp some powder on the outside of the face so that the bronzer blends out nicely. For bronzer, I'm gonna use my trusted Milani Silky Matte Bronzer. This stuff is my favorite, as you guys know. So I'm gonna work that into the hollows of the cheeks, around the forehead, and then I did wanna mix in a little bit of like a glowy bronzer, which I will layer on top of this one. Um, it's also from Milani. This is their baked bronzer in the shade Dolce. It looks like this. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that around the temples, a little on the forehead, and then take what's left across the nose as well. So we can fake a little bit of like a healthy glow, even though it's cold outside. It's officially winter here in Utah. It is so cold. Okay, we are gonna hop to the eyes, which I'm actually just gonna take a little bit of bronzer first and carve out the crease a little bit before we try out any of the sparkly eyeshadows. I just want a little hint of dimension on the eyes. And I'm gonna take that same bronzer, pinch the brush, and go along the lower lash line. This little brush, this is from the Nikki LaRose collection and BK Beauty. It's been like my favorite eyeshadow brush ever since I tried it. It's like what I use on a daily basis. 
especially for looks like this where I just throw bronzer into the crease and along the lower lash line, it's like perfect. I guess I should fill in the brows. I am gonna use my Benefit brow pencil. I don't have a drugstore one by me. I'm gonna do the majority of the brows with this pencil. I do have a brow pen from NYX that I wanted to use. Okay, well, I kind of changed my mind. I feel like after I'm putting the brow pencil in, I don't want it to be too intense so that it doesn't um, compete with the eyes. So I'm just gonna leave it at pencil. If you need a drugstore recommendation for a brow pencil, the Milani one is my favorite. I'll have that link down below. Um, okay, we are gonna try out a glitter eyeshadow from this CoverGirl and Kelsey Ballerini collab. I don't know, seems kind of fun. I really do like the color selection that they have here. These are apparently limited edition. And let's see, came in five shades. I'm obviously leaning toward like the lighter ones. Ooh, this one's kind of pinky though. That's pretty, it's called Nashville Dream. Or Glitter Up looks cute too. And then there's like a bronze, a gold, and a red. I honestly, I feel like I'm gonna definitely use one of these other two shades at least to start to try out the formula. Um, let me see, let's swatch the shade number two on the back of my hand. I just wanna see like how glittery these actually are. Okay, so you get a decent amount of shimmer in there. That's Nashville Dream. It's got a really pretty like rosy undertone. Let's try out Glitter Up. Okay, this one, it's a pretty watery formula, that second one. This one has a lot more glitter to it, pretty. Maybe I'll layer the two, honestly. I feel like that's actually not a bad idea. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade number two on the back of my hand. I just wanna be able to control how much pigment you get and it's pretty liquidy, so it doesn't seem like it will like dry down too quick. I don't know, I guess we should try it out first. I'm already noticing that when you apply it with a brush, it's like way more glittery than initially with my hand when I swatched it earlier. Okay, never mind. I feel like it does kind of dry down relatively quickly. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that on my brush and just start to work that into like the outer part of the eyelid like this and kind of feather it up and out. Okay, I lied when I said it didn't dry quickly. It actually does. So I'm putting a little more on the back of my hand and applying it to the other eyelid. I'm saving this inner portion for that lighter color, but I'm really liking how this looks. All right, I'm gonna pick up a little bit more and pinch the brush and just apply that to the outer third of that lower lash line. I wonder if this would be better applied directly to the eyes. I usually get scared doing that so that I don't like overdo liquid shadow, but because it is drying down fast, maybe that's better. I don't know. Better safe than sorry though today since it's the first go with this formula. Really pretty. All right, now we're gonna try out the shade number one, which was called Glitter Up. I'm just gonna use the same brush. I don't know. Oh boy, oh boy. That is so pretty. Oh boy. I feel like I applied quite a bit to that eye. I'm gonna try to add a little bit more to the other eye just to even things out. There we go. So we have the same intensity on both eyes. That is absolutely beautiful. It really does dry fast though. So I am gonna actually try, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna try to do like a little dollop on the lower lash line straight from the applicator. And then I can kind of like buff it out a little bit with my brush. I feel like that worked actually pretty well on that lower lash line. Okay, well, I'm happy. This is going very well. I think we need some mascara now. So I'm gonna put on the Maybelline Sky High mascara. And I'm gonna do quite a bit of that on the top and bottom lashes, focusing most of it on the top outer corner though. Okay, that eyeshadow is so pretty. I'm really interested to see how it wears. I mean, it feels like it's really dried on there. So I have high hopes for this. Like I'm really excited about these little glitter eyeshadows. They're so pretty. I feel like we are ready for blush. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Love Steady Liquid Blush from Moira. Let me see, I might need to put a little on my wrist because I've got a lot of glitter on my hand right now. I don't want glitter in my blush. I'm just gonna tap a little bit of this into the apples of the cheeks. I love, love, love these liquid blushes. They're so good. All right, I'm gonna wipe off any foundation I got on the lips. And this is where we get to try out the Elf and Jennifer Coolidge Dirty Pillows Lip Kit. This is so cute. I feel like I just got my makeup wipe finger grease all over it. <laughs> That's okay. This is what it looks like. How fun is this? And the inside it says, I didn't think this would look so good. <laughs> I think that's really cute. Okay, we are gonna use the lip liner. It has a lip liner, a lipstick, and a gloss. So we're gonna try out this lip liner first. Ooh, I love that color. I'm kind of coloring in the edges as well. Love it. 
Now, here's the lipstick. How cute is this packaging? I love it. Ooh, this is called the Dirty Pillows Lipstick. Look how pretty that color is. I'm so excited. It's like a peach. Ooh, I love when my lipsticks are lighter than my lip liner because then you really get quite a bit of dimension. Okay, that's really pretty as well. And then we have a plumping gloss. This is called Swollen. Let's apply this on top. Hmm, it's a really comfortable formula. And we'll have to see if it like actually plumps or not. That combo is really nice. I'm especially a fan of the lip liner because it kind of had like a brown undertone. Ooh, that gloss on top is really pretty. What do you guys think of this lip combo? Are we a fan? Is this something you guys would wear? Let me know. I love that it's from e.l.f. It's really pretty. It actually looks really nice with the eyeshadow, I think. Okay, let's assess the situation. I think we could use a little more bronzer as always. I'm actually gonna take the baked one and just add a little bit more all over. Ooh, I am feeling the lip gloss kind of tingle. It feels nice. It's not like overpowering or too distracting, but it's definitely there. I feel like we could use a little highlighter. So I'm gonna take this Moira highlight in the shade Honeysuckle and just pop it on the very high points of the cheeks. Maybe a little bit right here in the center of the nose. And then I'm gonna add a little more blush with whatever's left on the sponge. And then we need some setting spray, I realized. Hold on, I didn't grab one. I'm gonna use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is the one that has like the ceramides in it. I don't know. I'm just gonna spray this all over and then press that into the skin with my sponge. For brows, I'm gonna set the brows with my NYX Brow Glue. A little goes a very long way with this stuff, so I'm gonna use it sparingly. I actually really like the level of plumping that the lip gloss is feeling like it's doing. It's not too intense, which I really, really like. It just feels like good on the lips. Well, I love this makeup look. It looks so pretty. The eyeshadow is show-stopping. I feel like that's the piece that I really love about this whole look. The lip combo as well is really special. So I'm happy that I tried both of these new things because I feel like both the eyes and the lips are my favorite part about the look and they actually pair really well together. I will leave a note for you guys in the description box letting you know how the eyeshadow wears. I just wanna know if there's gonna be some fallout. I mean, if there's a little bit, I feel like that's to be expected with any glitter eyeshadow. Um, but it felt like it really dried on there. So I'm excited to see if it's minimal because that would be even more incredible. And it makes me excited to try the other shades. They definitely go on the eyes more glittery than they look even swashed on the hands. Like after you buff it into the skin or onto the eyelids with a brush, the glitter kind of like pops through and it looks really mesmerizing. I love how this looks all over the eyes. I'm so excited about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing a full face of some gorgeous, affordable makeup. I love how this look turned out. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these new things. Have you tried the new glitter eyeshadows? Have you tried the Elf and Jennifer Coolidge collab? I would love to know. Let me know in the comments down below. I love you all so much. Let me know what other products you wanna see me try or review, or if there's products that I've already tried out, what do you wanna see me reuse? Let me know in the comments. I love you all so much. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Love you.